Do you feel like every single thing is on your plate and you have to be in control of everything? I mean, like nobody, even though they can help you and you can do stuff, there's a way in which you being the one <laughs> to fix things, check, check on things, oversee things is starting to drive you crazy and yet you can't stop. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are some things in your life that are simply none of your business. And this is really, 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 really good news. And so just stick with me because this podcast is for you. You're going to be so thrilled and excited by the time you're done. And a lot of stuff's going to come off your plate. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. In my book, Your Inner GPS, I talk about the four powerful questions. And I'm going to give you the first of those four powerful questions today in relationship with your internal guidance system. Now, if you don't know what your IGS, internal guidance system, is, please go to zeninamoment.com and check out the video on the homepage. I walk you through a really simple exercise that allows you to feel this internal guidance system that you were born with. You can actually feel it. So what happens is, is that you have an expansion or a contraction feeling or a neutral feeling happening between your throat and your solar plexus throughout your day. And this is a guidance system. It, it's telling you whether what you're thinking is in alignment and going to bring you happiness and success or out of alignment and going to create havoc in your life, create more stress, more unhappiness. Now, a lot of the stuff that we mull over and keep track of, right? You know that running list that's happening in your head all the time? Check on this person at school and make sure that this bill is being paid and look into our retirement account and check into this, uh, you know, your, your, your life insurance policy and, I mean, all that stuff that's going on, plus your relatives and friends and coworkers and everybody's life that's going on that you're trying to support, help, keep healthy. A lot of it is not yours to do. It either doesn't need to be done Nothing's needed to happen in the situation. It's going to work itself out. Or it's not yours to do at all. It's somebody else to do. And so I devised these amazing questions, and I can only go through one of them today. And it's the first question in the series out of the four powerful questions. And that question is, is this any of my business? Is this any of my business? Now, if you get an opening, a lightning feeling in the center of your body, it's your business. You need to handle it, right? Right? So let's say there's a problem with your kid at school and you check in and like they're telling you that they're being bullied or they're telling you that they have a problem with a teacher and you check in and you think, is this any of my business? And you get an expansion feeling, a lightning feeling, a centering, calm feeling in your body. It is yours. That is an opening and you need to take charge. However, what I've experienced and my students have experienced is that oftentimes that question closes us, meaning you get a, a tight feeling, a stress, anxiety, worry feeling inside. It, it, you know, you get a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach, a lump in your throat, those feelings. That means it's not your business. When you feel that it's closing, that means that thought is not true or not going to happen and it's not your business. This is incredibly important because there are times when we need to go to bat for our kids, for instance, and then there's times where they need to work it out. I had one student whose son was having problems with a teacher, and they were kind of duking it out, battling it out in middle school, and uh, she kept checking in, is this any of my business? And she was closed. And finally, about two weeks later, the kid came in, and the teacher and this kid had worked out a solution to the problem that they were having with his homework. And he did it all on his own. He negotiated it. He figured it out. She had a couple discussions here. He bounced some stuff off of her. And it was so important for him to find a solution on his own. And she could have gone in there and, you know, had these deep conversations with the teacher and kind of set this whole thing up and want to, went to bat for him. But it wasn't hers to do. It wasn't any of her business. Now, this is the thing. There are so many things that are not your business, even down to like, are we going to be able to pay the mortgage this month? Or uh, how are you going to find the new job that you're looking for? Is it any of my business how I'm going to find this closing? You get a closing. You're like, how could it not be my business in finding my new job? Well, number one, either the universe has already lined up a job and it's coming to you. So all the work and effort you'd put into it isn't going to be fruitful. Two, it may be that you have an idea of a job or what you think you're going to do that isn't what you should be doing. And so in going in the trajectory of trying to create and manifest this, per, this position or this new work for yourself, it's actually what you shouldn't be doing. It's old. It's stale information. And there's something fresh and new coming that you can't see yet. It could be that there's, like I said, like 
there's nothing, it's not yours to do. There's nothing to do. Maybe it's somebody else's in the works. You've been talking about getting a new position and your friend is already in the works at their office saying, hey, I got this wonderful woman that I'd love to work here. It's her job to help you get a job. These things are very important because everybody has a role in each other's lives. And so for you to let go and release when you get a, a closing at, the, at is this any of my business about many things in your life, problems that your spouse is having, right? It could be it could be your own health, right? It could be like you stressing and worrying and trying to figure out what to do about your own health. You've got this little achy, you know, situation going on and you t- ask, is this any of my business? And you close. It's something that's just passing through. There's no need to put any worry, attention, no need to go to the doctor, no need to do anything. It's none of your business. A lot of things just work themselves out in this world. So I want to share this with you and give you the exercise of as you feel stress, worry, fear, anxiety, as you're paying attention to what others, what are happening in others' lives around you, everyone, everyone, as you're feeling like you need to do something, support them, help them, give them money, uh, as you're looking at your own life, even looking around at things that you feel need to be done, I do it with a garden all the time, I'll see something and I'll be like, oh gosh, this is going to get out of control and I'll feel closing, and it doesn't, it never gets out of control, that area of the garden seems to just stay the way it is, I don't have to do anything. Is this any of my business is my favorite question because it clears so much out of my life. It is so powerful how much it clears out of my life. I love it when I close, when I ask, is this any of my business? Because I can let it go and focus on the things that are a true priority for me. I can focus on the things that are mine to do. I can focus on the things that are going to make a difference. So is this any of my business? If you feel a tight closing sensation, it's not. Let it go. Relax. It's going to be just fine without you. If you get an opening, you need to take action. If you feel a calm and centered feeling, it is yours to do. And it's super important that you take action. All right. So this is Zen in a moment. And I am super, super excited that you are listening. Please share these podcasts. They are making a difference. The reports that I'm getting back from people about being more productive, calmer, lighter, less stressed, right? And then just happier in their relationships is making a huge difference. So please share them. Sign up if you haven't so you can get them delivered to you twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. And also comment below. I want to know how you're doing. What is it that you feel is your business that stresses you out? What is causing you like... It's constant, like feeling like you have to be in charge, like you have to take care of everything, that you there's too much on your plate. And if you do this, which I hope you do, what things closed you that aren't your business? I love to hear that. It's amazing how many things are not our business. All right. Thanks for listening. And until we get an opportunity to be together again, I am sending you love and blessings.